my camper has very little space for electronics. The only area that uh, this camper has set aside for electronics is a, is a battery bay, uh, and, and that's it. Um, luckily, uh, lithium batteries are going up in capacity and smaller in size. Uh, so I've been able to build a 280 amp hour uh, lithium battery, which normally this would be the size of three uh, typical batteries, but it, it only takes up the space of one. So I have the whole other side of the battery bay to work with. I wanted to add a solar, uh, another solar charge controller to my RV, um, and there wasn't enough room in the bay. And so I was wondering, you know, I'm an origami guy. I've written a bunch of origami books. Um, I was wondering if I could apply uh, some principles of origami to the electrical system in the RV. Uh, here are some of my biggest problems. Uh, you can see I've got a, a terminal block here that is, it's not professional negative terminal block here and the wires are close enough together that over time they could rub together and produce a short. This really bothers me. Um, I, this is the BMS negative coming out here attaches to this thick cable and it's just sort of hanging out here in no man's land. Uh, that really uh, worries me. Um, I want to move the fuse and the uh, smart shunt um, closer to the battery. Um, and the, this other thing, these wires right here, um, every time I pull the battery or put the battery in, it rubs against these wires and anything could go wrong. Um, and lastly, I want to I want to improve the location of this um, breaker. This breaker is for the 24 volts for the air conditioning. And it turns on that cooling fan at the same time. Um, so I want to relocate that breaker and uh, find a better place for it so it's more towards the top so I can just reach in and turn it on. Um, so I had thought that I might be able to use this front compartment. I maybe move this bulkhead uh, or, or remove it completely and then use this front compartment for more storage but it, if you look down in there you can see we've got uh, important components for the water tank uh, right there so that is uh, not going to happen. I also want to move the battery disconnect uh, from this front wall um, to be adjacent to the battery and what that will allow me to do is uh, is do the zero current setting for the smart shunt more easily. So here is the cardboard uh, template or prototype that I made and you see how nicely that fits inside. The here is what I hope is the final uh, prototype um, and it, it fits inside here just fine. This is my new electrical system and right here we have a DC to DC charger that allows me to charge uh, my lithium battery off my truck's alternator. Right here is a 24 volt um, power supply. I use that for my portable uh, air conditioner that I have. There's a little cooling fan that is for to keep that power supply cool. I've added uh, two real bus bars um, and here's the solar, uh, ch the solar charge controller that I added. This will actually work with the existing uh, solar charge controller in the camper. Uh, and so they'll uh, work together to charge the battery. And then uh, lastly, this was really difficult to find enough room for. Uh, this is a 300 watt um, inverter. And I realized that in, to get this to fit, I had to use the fact that a hypotenuse is the longest side of a triangle. And I, as soon as I put it in a, at an angle, it fit. And now these are the electronics on my battery. I have the disconnect on the battery, which is, it, ma it makes the most sense to have your battery disconnect on the battery. Um, and now I have a catastrophic fuse right here in case something really goes wrong. 
Um, this is a Victron Smart Shunt. And uh, what's nice about having it here is it's before the disconnect. So I can, uh, I can turn the battery off and I can recalibrate my Smart Shunt and turn the battery back on and I'll get really accurate readings. And this uh, guy right here is a BMS for the battery. It keeps all the cells balanced. And the last big change I made was I added this uh, Anderson uh, connector um, so that when I disconnect my battery now, I don't have to fiddle around with wrenches and stuff. I can just, I can just, pull, I can just pull this Anderson connector apart and the battery is disconnected. Some design considerations that you need to remember, um, and that is that the uh, the corners, uh, especially um, the height of of one component, may interfere with your placement of another component. Um, you see, as I f as I fold this up, it comes very close to other components. Um, this is just a uh, called a piano hinge down here. Um, but the folding is, is key, and so as you're laying out your system, you need to constantly be uh, folding and unfolding to see how things lay out. Uh, this origami or this folding design makes things a lot easier. Pulling the battery is much easier because it's just a matter of disconnecting the Anderson connector. There's no wrenches involved. Um, having the battery disconnect on the battery just makes tremendous sense to me as well as having the smart shunt on the battery. Um, this means that when I winterize and I pull the battery and I put it in the basement, I can be in my living room and I can check on Bluetooth to see the battery's charge status, which is you know, really helpful. Um, when I started this project, I didn't think there was going to be enough room for the inverter in here and I never even considered including it. But then as I got towards the end, I noticed I had a lot more space than I, I realized, and I was able to incorporate uh, the inverter, which is kind of a big deal. Another great feature of this is that I can pull the entire electronic system out of there. I'm not, I'm not you know, digging down in some bay or, or looking up in some bay. It's, it's right out. It's out in front of me. It's easy for me to change a fuse. It's easy for me to troubleshoot a problem, or it's easy for me to upgrade different parts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas that you can uh, use in your camper, boat, or van. Uh, and if you have ideas, uh, please share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.